Marine life is pretty interesting, right? You've got all sorts of organisms underwater that you cannot even fathom. Marine animals are beyond your wildest imaginations. If you thought an animal like the hammerhead shark was the epitome of marine life forms, you are in for a surprise. In this video, we will look at top 5 of the most unearthly creatures in the oceans. We warn you, some of them can be quite scary. If you enjoy watching the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more. On to the video. Number 5. Octopus. We're letting you know in advance that most, if not all, of the animals on our list have very weird and funny names. Let us take a look at the unfortunately named Democtopus. One look at the animal and you'll understand why it is called so. However, that is not why it is called the Democtopus. Grimpotuthesis genus of pelagic umbrella octopuses, referred to as the Dumo octopuses. The name Dumo originates from the resemblance to the elephant of Disney's 1941 movie Dumo, having an outstanding ear-like fin that extends from the mantle above every eye. There are 17 species identified with inside the genus. Its prey encompasses crustaceans, bivalves, worms, and copods. The common lifespan of numerous Grimpotuthis species is three to five years. Species of Grimpotuthis face few direct threats from humans, residing at depths of 1,000 meters, three, 300 feet, and below. Natural predators of serried octopuses encompass big teleost fish and sharks, or even marine mammals, along with sperm whales and seals. However, those are in general predators of different Surrey genera and Grimpotuthis. His best been recorded with inside the belly contents of a shark. The Grimpotuthis now no longer have an ink sac. Furthermore, the Surrey octopuses lack innervated chromatophores and are consequently now no longer able to convert color. How Surrey octopuses break out or keep away from predators is unknown. Observations of animals with inside the Atlantic display that Grimpotuthis frequently relaxation at the seafloor with the hands and internet unfold out and makes use of its hands to move alongside the seafloor slowly, whilst disturbed the webbing and hands are shrunk to push the animal off the seafloor, with it then transitioning to motion the use of the mantle fins for speedy locomotion. Although it's been cautioned that species of Grimpotuthis can perform jet propulsion, this has been deemed unlikely. Number 4. Leafy Sea Dragon No, this is not an unlockable character from a dragon-based game. This is a real marine organism that inhabits the depths of the ocean. Just look at how out of the world it looks. The Leafy Sea Dragon or Glowered Sea Dragon is the most active member of the genus Spicojurus and it is a marine fish with inside the own circle of relative Singathidae, which incorporates sea dragons, pipefish, and seahorses. It is discovered alongside the southern and western coasts of Australia. The name is derived from the appearance, with lengthy leaf-like protrusions coming from all around the body. These protrusions aren't used for propulsion. They serve most effective as camouflage. The leafy sea dragon propels itself through a pectoral fin at the ridge of its neck and a dorsal fin on its return toward the tail end. These small fins are nearly obvious and tough to look at as they undulate minutely to transport the creature sedately through the water, finishing the phantasm of floating seaweed. Popularly recognized as leafies, it's Miles the marine brand of the country of South Australia and a focal point for nearby marine conservation. The leafy sea dragon makes use of the fins alongside the facet of its head to permit it to influence in turn. However, its outer pores and skin in all fairness rigid, prescribing mobility. Individual leafy sea dragons were determined ultimately in a single region for prolonged intervals of time, as much as 68 hours. However, will now and again flow for prolonged intervals. The monitoring of one character indicated it moved at as much as 150 meters, consistent with an hour. Leafy sea dragons are challenged by many threats, each herbal and man-made. They are struck by collectors and utilized in opportunity medicine. They are susceptible whilst first born and are sluggish swimmers, lowering their risk of escaping from a predator. Sea dragons are now and again washed ashore after storms. Number 3. Feather Star this has to be one of the most aesthetic animals on our list. The feather star, better known as a crinoid, is a seaweed-like creature that moves around in the ocean by waving its tentacles, which look like feathers. Crinoids are marine animals that define elegance. They belong to one of the classes of the phylum Echinodermata, which additionally consists of the starfish brittle stars, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. Adult crinoids are characterized by having the mouth placed at a higher surface. This is surrounded by feeding fingers and is related 
related to a U-formed gut, with the anus being placed at the oral disc close to the mouth. Although the fundamental echinoderm sample of five-fold symmetry may be recognized in maximum crinoids, the five fingers are subdivided into ten or extra. These have feathery pinwheels and are unfolded extensively to collect planktonic debris from the water. At a few levels of their lives, maximum crinoids have a stem used to connect themselves to the substrate. However, many stay connected simplest as juveniles and turn out to be free-swimming as adults. There are approximately 600 dwelling species of a crinoid. In addition, some thick limestone beds relationship to the mid-Paleozoic to Jurassic eras are nearly absolutely made of disarticulated crinoid fragments. Number 2. Sarcastic Fringe It seems researchers gave up on naming this one. I mean, a creature named Sarcastic Fringehead that sounds straight out of a cartoon. The Sarcastic Fringehead is a small but hardy saltwater fish with a big mouth and competitive territorial behavior. When fringe heads have a territorial battle, they battle by directing their distended mouths towards every other, as though they have been kissing. This permits them to decide that the bigger fish establishes dominance. They may be as much as 30 centimeters, 12 inches, long, stylish, and slender, and are mainly scaleless with first-rate pectoral fins and decreased pelvic fins. The swimming actions of those fish are complicated. Their swimming includes short, fast, dart-like actions. They are typically brown. Sarcastic fringe heads are a species of two blenny and generally tend to cover inner shells or crevices, even though a few have been discovered dwelling in man-made items, including a soda can, after the female spawns below a rock or in clam burrows. The male guards the eggs. During squid spawning season, they devour big numbers of squid eggs. They are discovered with inside the Pacific, off the coast of North America, from San Francisco, California, to vital Baja, California. Their intensity variety is from 3 to 73 meters, 10 to 240 feet. Their particular name honors Dr. S. B. Blanchard of San Diego, California, who accrued specimens of this plenty and surpassed them directly to Charles Frederick Gerard, who defined it. Number 1. Glaucus Atlanticus and finally, number one on our list is the Glaucus Atlanticus, the prettiest slug you will ever see in your life. Just one look at the animal and it looks like it is from a Disney movie. Its bluish glow and bone structure make it look ethereal. However, unlike the other animals on our list, this one is quite dangerous to humans. Glaucus atlanticus is a species of small, blue sea slug, a pelagic, open ocean, elid nudibranch, a shell much less gastropod mollusk with inside the own circle of relatives glossity. These sea slugs are pelagic. They waft the other way up through the usage of the floor anxiety of the water to leave up, wherein they're carried alongside through the winds and ocean currents. Glaucus atlanticus uses countershading. The blue facet in their fraying faces upwards, mixing in with the blue of the water. The silver-gray facet of the ocean slugs faces downwards, mixing in with the daylight reflecting at the ocean's floor while considered going through upwards underwater. Glaucus atlanticus feed on different pelagic creatures, including the Portuguese guy o' war and venomous siphonophores. This sea slug shop stinging nematosis from the siphonophores inside its tissues as a defense in opposition to predators. Unfortunately, humans managing the slug can also acquire a potentially painful and risky sting. The Glaucus atlanticus is capable of swallowing the venomous nematosis from siphonophores, including the Portuguese guy o' war, and keeping them within the extremities of its finger-like serrata. Picking up the animal can bring about a painful sting, with signs and symptoms, much like the ones because of the Portuguese guy o' war. The signs and symptoms that could seem after being stung are nausea, pain, vomiting, acute allergic touch dermatitis, erythema, urticarial papules, capacity vesicle formation, and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, with the useful resource of a fuel-line crammed sac in its stomach. The Glaucus atlanticus floats on the floor. However, due to the vicinity of the fuel line sac, this species floats the other way up. The higher floor is absolutely the foot, the bottom in different slugs and snail, and this has both a blue and blue-white color. The rail dorsal floor is silver gray. This color is an instance of countershading, which safeguards it from predators that would assault from under and above. The blue color is likewise conceivable to mirror dangerous UV daylight. What do you think of these bizarre creatures? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed watching the video, make sure to like and share it with your friends. Subscribe and click the bell icon so that you can be notified promptly of our latest uploads. See you in the next video.